like this. I'm just gonna pull a couple of cards to find out what needs to be discussed when it comes down to the collective in this moment in this time. Okay. You got spirituality, inspiration, potential and then truth and it's um just sitting here looking at this this is just um your purpose moving in your purpose this is what i'm getting from this moving in your purpose moving in your purpose and being noticed that you're moving in your purpose for speaking the truth for um Using your spirituality. When it comes down to um, your angels and your ancestors and your way short, it's like um, you have been granted so many um, accolades and rewards from them. because of your truth because of you standing in um your purpose because of you standing in you know your power and your journey and it's it's um um just a blessing to carry that vibration in the spiritual realm because yes sometimes you could get deterred from this earthly plane this 3d and you're like yes you know i'm doing all this work i'm putting forth and putting in action and it's like your ancestors and your way sure they see everything and maybe you could feel like you're not being noticed or you're not being seen i remember when i'm gonna say maybe about maybe about a year ago it could have been a little less than a year ago god said if you were to never to get recognition from a person or a person was to never you know to come up to you and say you know i see you sis you know i see you shining or you know i've seen your page or just to give you um recognition in this realm he said would you still do it would you still do it and my question was yes i would still do it because i know it's coming from my heart this is something that I truly want to do. This is not nothing that I just decided to do because I wanted to copy off of somebody. This is something that was like in me. Like I've always been that type of person that I gave people advice and I've always liked to help people. And my question was, uh, yes, I would. I would still do it. If no one was to ever come up to me and go, Lita, you know what? I, I see your page. It's dope. It's different. I like it whatever you know if no one ever came up to me and say that i i could give two fucks because i will still do it because this is something that i am passionate about and that's the same thing here it's like maybe you could have been feeling as if um whatever it is that you was putting out you wasn't receiving but it's like you have received so much in the fucking spiritual realm and look here we have um erica badu and we have Lauren Hill. Come on now. These, these two characters right here. In itself. In itself. Come on now. Erica Badu and Lauren Hill. You the fucking truth. You the fucking truth. If nobody in this realm ever come up to you and say, you know what, I seen your channel. I liked your channel. You know, if nobody ever came up to you and said that say say any of that would you still do it and your fucking answer better be yeah because we not here just just uh off of the strength of you know we was bored no we not here for that we ain't here for that i hope you ain't here for that because i know i ain't inexperienced inexperienced
co-creator. Now, when we talk about um, when we talk about uh, inexper when we talk about inexperienced, inexperienced when we talk when we talk about when we talk about inex um, inexperienced and and when. We'll, when we talk about, I'm, I'm trying to, my, my words is getting baffled. And, and if there's anybody sending me negative, negative energy, I send it back to their ass. Okay? Because I'm going to fucking speak. I'm going to speak. Now, when we speak about or talk about an experience, you know, this is the beginning of your journey. You, the beginning of your journey, you started off as a person that was inexperienced, but you had passion for it. You understand what I'm saying? You had drive for it. You knew that it was something that uh, you wanted to do. But like I said, when we jump from inexperience to Erica Badu spirituality, what? You have mastered whatever it is you were set on this plane to do. You have mastered you have mastered and um just a quick um story on her she was easily fooled in um easily fooled uh or something like that her her story she was easily fooled and through that situation she uh, she started you know to grow you know how you could go through situations in life that's all of us we go through situations and um uh uh we go through different things in our life and then Next thing you know, somebody could disappoint us. She was tricked. She was uh, being boozled, should I say. And um, it woke her up. It woke her up. And it, it, it and it's okay to, to, to be here, but you don't stay there. We here. This is the energies right now. Now, this is past, this is past energy. This is past energy um, right here. You know, I, ha I have to stop for a second because... Um, spirit is bringing me back to this dream that I had. Now I, I, I walked into, um, because I started, um, like, you know, my words and stuff is getting all flipped and mixed around and it's, it's bringing me back to this dream that, um, I had and I walked into a house and I seen a family member. Um, they were standing in the kitchen and their back was towards me but they were looking like in the sink as if they were getting like a cup of water they was doing something at the sink and i knew it was that person and i walked in into the kitchen i'm on the opposite side of the kitchen and i said hi to the person they never replied they never said hi back they never even turned around but i noticed that they had on a black shirt and i started to choke and as i'm choking i'm trying to like gasp for ear and I, I, I start pulling here out of my mouth, okay? And immediately, I already knew, first of all, that was definitely um, some form of witchcraft being put on me, number one. Um, number two, somebody is trying to get me to shut up, okay? And as I'm sitting here and I'm talking to you, I realize I started baffling with my words and I noticed in a couple of the other videos that has happened to um, me as well. Um, this could be something that's occurring in your life too. A person could be seeing you striving, moving forward and they're jealous of what you got going on and they're trying to shut you up. Send that shit right back. Nobody's going to make me shut up. Nobody's going to stop me from fucking talking. Okay, nobody's gonna stop me from doing nothing. And if that's what's going on in here, making sure that nobody stops you from fucking talking. You speak your truth. You say what it is that you need to say. And from the looks of things, that's what the fuck is going on. Here you will have co-creation. Co-creation. You have co-created your fucking life. It's like you're doing something completely different. You're doing something new. And in the spiritual realm, you are so fucking blessed and highly fucking favored in the spiritual realm. At the end of the day, when we come down and we start talking about living here in, in this realm, it ain't even fucking important. Because you got your ancestors and your way shorts on your fucking side. You hold a high rank in the spiritual realm. Stop playing. You co-creating here on this earth. And you, you got you got your your angels talking about you. 
You got your, your, your ancestors clapping for you. From my understanding, I don't need no more claps besides that. That's the highest of the fucking high. Let's see what else comes out. Mastery. What I tell you, you have mastered whatever it was that God sent here for your ass to do. You have mastered it. You've mastered it. And like I said, for me to even talk about that dream, I've never spoken about that dream. Never spoken about that dream. Somebody trying to shut you up. Somebody's mad. They're mad. I'm literally pulling mad hair out of my fucking mouth. And the crazy thing is, this person in particular never even turns around and go, are you okay? You good? You need some water? Well, you know, that's a, a regular, normal, what a normal person would do. You know what I'm saying? You see a person choking, you will turn around. Damn, what the fuck going on? You want some water? You good? You straight? Nope. Never budge. Never turned around. Never, never said nothing to me. Watched me choke. Sat there and watched me choke. I woke up out of my sleep choking. When I tell you spiritual warfare is so motherfucking real, it is so real. I, can, I can't express how much spiritual warfare is so real. And it be the fucking people who you done pass fucking millions and trillions of bottles of water and served and cooked for. Will leave you sitting there choking. You on fire, they won't even piss on you. I've never spoken about that fucking dream. The past. The past. Using your truth, using your intuition, using your gifts. Um, being able to time being able to um time travel. You know what I'm saying? You could be younger. Like I always say, you could be younger and um you just know so much of your family's history. You know, you, you could just know so much. And it's because when it comes down to your lineage your lineage and when it comes down to your, your ancestors, um, they trust you. You understand what I'm saying? They 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 hold you near and dear to them. If nobody knows certain secrets, you do. You know, um, let's see what else comes out. I think, no, I'm not being able to use, I use this one. So like I say, you have been, um, excuse me. You have been um, doing what it is. You've mastered. You've mastered certain things when it comes down to your um, your craft. When it comes down to your gifts, you have mastered them. You are being seen. You are being seen, and this is by the heavens. You are being seen, and from my understanding, you underneath the deck you have. Well, let me see the world. Underneath the deck, you have uh, the world. It's being manifested down into the 3D. Like I said, if there was, um, if you um, have a channel, if you have, um, what can I say? If you've written a book, you know what I'm saying? You put a book out, if you offer services. It's like now is the time where your soul family and everything is coming in. It's like you have built up so much respect in the spiritual realm. It's coming down into your 3D reality. It's, it's, it's coming on down into your, into your 3D um, reality. Uh, things are being, um, I, I'm, I'm surprised judgment didn't come out. Things are being um, manifested down here in this 3D reality. It's, it's coming down. It's coming down to your 3D. You've earned it. You've earned it. Hold on one second. What else is there? I'll take them. I'll take it. I'll take it. Yeah, um, you could have been, 
here we have the I believe this is the nine of swords and the the nine of swords and the five of the nine of swords and the five of um pentacles. It's like when it comes down to your spiritual gift, people like I said, they are trying to bind you, trying to stop you from moving forward. Like they want you to shut up. They want you in this energy of feeling like you know uh nobody is there for you. You know, like why nobody post why you posting videos? Ain't nobody gonna like your video, or why you, you posting videos, um, ain't nobody gonna view your video, like shit like that. They want you in this type of an energy. They feel like if they don't um click on your video, you know that that um they, they don't click on your video or they don't give you that one like from them, that you're not gonna make it. Bitch, I don't give a fuck if you don't click don't get me started people fucking crazy they feel like if they don't click on your shit if they don't like your video hmm yeah i seen it but i'm i'm not gonna like like her video i don't watch that shit i don't watch that shit bitch i'm gonna make it whether you watch my shit or not collective you gonna make it whether they watch your shit or not like they, they want you in this energy this is what they want you in. This energy. Make you feel like you stuck. You have no support. Nobody's there for you. I kid you not. I can't think of one person. Oh, no. I, I'm, I'm lying. Um, I have three people that I've known that actually has said something to me. And two of them I'm related to. Has actually said something to me. Talked to me. Have supported me since I started my journey. And I, I, um, I thank them so much for being here. But I've had two people who have been here since I, um, started started my journey, and um, three in total who actually came. No, four, four people that I know, that I actually know who came to, um, my channel, and actually, you know, liked my stuff or spoke um you know um on my channel or said something you know what i'm saying i could i could count on one hand how many people but it's somebody out there a group of people one person i don't know i personally don't give a fuck but this is the type of energy that they want you in i show a smile at every time i you know i i'm sorry it's not working it's not working it's not working sorry it's not like i said this is something that you're passionate about and this is your um your gifts that you use um your ancestors your way shores god have noticed you in the spiritual realm whatever it is that you have your spiritual let, let's let, I'm, i want to speak about spiritual bank accounts people always talk about what their bank account look like what the fuck your spiritual bank account look like because i know mine is fucking popping okay your spiritual bank account is, is off the fucking chain, okay? It's overflowing. It's overflowing right down into this round. That's what the fuck is doing. Overflowing right on down into the, into this round. What The high rank that you're being respected in the spiritual round is now seeping and leaking down into your, your life right now. You know? It, it's, seep, it, it's seeping into your life right now. But somebody wants you to shut up somebody wants you to not speak somebody wants you to not post your video somebody wants you to not write your book somebody wants you to not create your song you understand what i'm saying somebody wants you wants you to not get up and, 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 and dress up somebody wants you all stuck tied up hair looking crazy fuck out of here people is fucking stupid Right, like, all because you're minding your business. How are you mad because I'm minding my business? Like, what? That don't even make sense. It doesn't make sense. Like I said, you are the high priestess. You are the high priestess. You have mastered your craft. You have mastered your gift. Whatever it is that's coming. Look, here we have heartbreak in, in the... In the reverse, you have healed. Even if your heart was broken by certain things, you didn't make, let it make you bitter. You ever seen a bitter bitch? Bitch so bitter. 
Like, damn. A bitter bitch. That's the worst bitch to bump into is a bitter bitch. A bitter hating bitch. You could have a fucking baby father. Uh, your, your child could be damn near 20. 19. And you still mad at them from a relationship from how long ago? Like, come on. Because they're not healing. You've healed. You turned, you took your, your, your sorrow, your sadness, and you moved forward with it. You understand what I'm saying? You didn't let it consume you. You know, you, you, you move forward with it. And here we have um, the Eight of Wands. These is messages. Now, when I'm, as I'm looking at this, there is some, something that's coming in for you. Like I said, when it comes down to accolades, when it comes down to um, being respected here in the 3D realm, it's like people see you, but they, you know, they act like they don't see you because they damn sure do it to me. They, they damn sure do it to me. And, and I, I have to laugh because I think it's so fucking funny. I laugh because I really think it's funny. But you have like messages that are coming in, whether this be text messages, emails, voicemails whatever it is um um a, a letter in the mail coming however on uh, a new business opportunity a endeavor is something um that's dealing with your uh co-creation that's dealing with your gifts that you are being blessed with yeah it's like a, a um someone either wants to work with you i see a king of pentacles here this is a person that is very business oriented. He could like something that you do and want to incorporate it in something that he does. I don't know. Only you know how this fits for you. But it's looking like um, it's going to be some type of collaboration. And I feel like this collaboration is worth your time. And see, underneath the deck, we have like, we have contracts. So um, there's some type of a contract that's coming, that's coming in. And it is going to change your life for the rest of your life. And you see what I'm saying? It's like when it comes and it puts you in this queen of wands. This queen of wands energy. Not as if you wasn't already in your queen of wands, wands energy. And that's, that's just having passion and drive and moving forward and knowing what the fuck you want. You know, using your intuition. You know, root chakra stable you know what i'm saying you know what the fuck you want and that's what i'm seeing is coming in you have um you have contracts that are coming in and it's going to involve some it could be i don't know why but i keep i always keep feeling like um subcontracting and i keep saying that because it's not you working for a person it's like a person wants a service from you you know what I'm saying? Or like a company wants a, 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 a particular service from you. And you like, okay, well, I'm going to be the only one that's providing this service for your company for two years straight. And y'all set up a payment arrangement, you know, things like that. It's something like that that's about to come in. And it's, it's coming in. It's coming in because like I said, your spiritual bank account is, is on. It's just popping. That is overflowing into the 3D realm. Is overflowing into the 3D realm. Yeah, you have a... There is a transition. There is a transition that's occurring in your life. So, you know, say for instance, me, I'm here and I'm doing my videos and stuff at home. And it could be you actually leaving, traveling, and going to different places, doing different things. Whether it be tarot card reading, support groups. I don't know. Only you know how this fits for you. But there is... And here we have the page of swords. This is spying. This is someone who's just been watching, you know, your craft. Watching what you do. Um studying what you do you know um seeing you persevere through different things and i mean watching your every video this is not just no only watching uh what is this? this is just not no only watching uh one video it's like they're watching your videos um and they're seeing uh different qualities about you but these is uh, somebody's going to reach out 
and there is some form of a um contract is going to be signed and it's for I, I, I'm gonna say when it comes down to this 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 contract it's worth it of course like I say you use your discernment when it comes down to it but this is what's going on for um the collective who is living in their purpose at this in this moment it's like um you're going to be seen more you're going to be out of your comfort zone more um for me i am I, I don't mind being around people but i am so comfortable with being by myself I, i'm my own friend you know what i'm saying i'm so comfortable with being by myself but um it's like being out more and taking your gifts and helping people on the outside um but there's someone that's watching you and from the looks of things it's looking like it's a king of pentacles and he could be your counterpart he could be your counterpart because here we have the king of pentacles and we have um the king of wands now these are two this is the king of wands is a very passionate um a very passionate person um but however they're both business oriented like they they make that money you know they go for their passion um now these could either be two different people coming in uh with some form of a of, of a contract or this could be somebody coming in with a form of a a contract and this also could be another person coming in that is your counterpart a person that's been watching you he really likes you this could be an aries leo or sagittarius energy right here um and he's he knows that you're his his counterpart but however regardless you have a contracts coming in and it also could be the person that's giving you the contract could admire you their self they could really like you you know what i'm saying it may start off as just business and then it works into a relationship i don't know but um there's two men here or should i say masculine energies and it's going to bring you um the fulfillment that you've been needed like i said um you could have felt like you've been putting out so much effort and energy into this realm and it's not being reciprocated in this realm. And it is. It's like your ancestors, your way shores is like, do you know what your spiritual bank account look like up here? And it's like you have um, money coming in on this realm. And this, we're not talking about no little bit of money. It's like people want really want to talk to you. People really want to be in your presence like you're important like you a big deal if you didn't think you're a big fucking deal you're a big fucking deal it's like people really want to be in your presence they want to pay to be around you they want to talk to you you know there's some form of a contract or different contracts and this is about nine i see nine eight contracts coming in and it's you making money and this will probably all you have and this this is making this is making money this ain't no little bit of fucking money this is really making money in a way that you've probably never have thought about but god got you your ancestors got you your way showers got you it's bringing on the ten of pentacles and look here we have the seven yeah the seven of pentacles like i said you could have been just like weighing around like damn i'm putting all this effort this energy into stuff like where what's going on and it's like no it ain't what's going on it's divine timing is what's going on so that and and i, I say that all the time you sit and you you know people be stressed out over things you have to understand that everything works in divine timing everything's we, we got to talk about your growth we got to talk about the people that you're working with that god wants you to work with their growth you know and making sure that y'all meet up at the right time you know y'all y'all bumping into the right right space the right place the same vibration you understand what i'm saying divine timing everything happens in divine timing this is beautiful this is beautiful this is beautiful collective i don't know i don't know you could either leave me a message underneath this video you could send me an email 
that I always put in the description box or I think it's on on my information on my information uh, page I gotta look I don't know um, but let me know how this this message resonates with you because like I said it should be some type of contracts coming in because it's not you searching and, and seeking for a contract these people are looking for you they want to work with you they've been watching you you know um and they're coming they're coming all right collective i hope that this message has resonated my name is empress Lita G, coming at you from divine intervention tv and you have a blessed day i'll share